Hey guys, welcome welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to customize your lock screen on iOS 16. iOS 16 will be released on the 12th of September, which will be the day that I am posting this. So you can go ahead and download the update for yourself to get all the new great features. I have a whole playlist on iOS 16. If you want to check that out, I'll leave that in the eye up top. But in today's video, we're just going to be taking a look at the lock screen and the basics of setting it up. I'm going to start some recording so you guys can follow along with me and see exactly how I'm going to do this. So yeah, you guys can just follow along. So let's get started. So for customizing your lock screen you can do it from two different places you can either go directly into settings and go to um, wallpaper which is this section right here go in there and then you can see your wallpaper but it's only going to show you your current wallpaper that you have set um, you can add a new wallpaper but then it will only show that one here what I prefer doing that I re mostly recommend is doing it from your lock screen when swiping down to your notification center. So I'm going to swipe down and as you can see here is a clear view of my lock screen and when I hold down on my screen it will go into the edit mode and then I can just view all the other lock screens that I have on my phone. So this is my favorite way of doing it just because you have a clear indication of every lock screen that you have and you can easily edit it. So I'm going to be doing this tutorial from this view. First off I want to start off with how to add a new lock screen to your phone so if you only have one you can have now multiple lock screens on your phone it's like a watch face that you have on your apple watch but now with just with your iphone's lock screen which is really cool um, so for adding a new lock screen all you need to do is you can either swipe all the way to the right until you see this screen here or on your current lock screen you can just click on the plus button in the bottom right corner and then we're going to go ahead and get started with adding a new wallpaper so as you can see, they have a few options here you can choose from. So the first one here featured, I believe this is probably like ones that are very popular or what they have featured. Um, then we have suggested photos. So it just goes through your photo library and lets you choose some of these. They do have photo shuffle, which will shuffle between photos, maybe like hourly or daily. You can set that when you set the photo shuffle. Um, then you have weather and astronomy. So um, these are also very cool and some of them are very interactive, which we'll get into later. Then we have the emoji wallpapers that you can quickly choose from here. And then they have collections here. Um, so yeah, you can go through all these collections that they have and choose one. And then lastly, we have color, which is more of like gradients or just solid colors that you can choose from for your wallpapers. So these are just a bunch of preset wallpapers here that you can choose from. But um, the top categories here are more important. I feel it's more customizable. So the first one we have here is photos, which will just take you to your photo library so that you can select a wallpaper. Um, the next one here we have is people, which will just go through all the people that you have on your phone that it suggests to use as wallpapers. Then then we have photo shuffleer which we previously talked about and like I said you can choose which one you want and set how frequently it goes and shuffles through your photo. You can either just use um, featured photos or you can select photos manually and select which photos you want to shuffle through. Then we have again the emoji wallpapers here. Um, the, here you can customize it very easily to your liking. So I'm gonna just quickly add in some emojis. You set your emojis by clicking on the emoji icon here in the bottom left if it doesn't immediately give you um, the option to edit it. So as you can see, I just typed in a bunch of emojis that I like for spring since it's spring here in the southern hemisphere. Um, and then you can also change the color by clicking on these three dots in the bottom right and clicking on background and then choose one of the colors that you want. Um, so yeah, you can just go ahead and choose through all these the type of background that you want for your wallpaper. And then you can also edit the look of the grid that is here. So the first one we have here is small grid, then you have medium grid, large grid, rings, and um, spiral is the last option. So you can go through and choose whichever one you want. And then obviously you can edit all this, but we're gonna get into that a little later. But yeah, that's how you set your emoji wallpaper. Then next up, what we have here is weather. So the weather one just is dependent on the weather that you have in your current location. Um, you can set that and it looks really cool. Then we have astronomy here, which I mentioned is very interactive. I'll put a clip right now of where you can see it going from your lock screen to your home screen, how it kind of, has an animation that plays, which is really cool and I really like the look of it. So yeah, you can just go ahead and go s and swipe through all of these. You have earth, earth detail, moon, moon detail, 
solar system and um, yeah that's pretty much it but yeah these are really cool and they look beautiful so yeah you have your astronomy wallpapers here as well then you have color here which you can go ahead and set your background color so this is more for a minimal background with just some color um, so you have different options here so the first one we is set on bright so if I'm gonna go with the default color here it's set to bright then if I go all the way to the right, it's solid. So that means it's not like a gradient. As you can see here, the top is a bit purpley, but solid is just the blue color, no gradients or anything. Then going to the left, we have vapor, which looks like this, deep, which looks like this, tone, vibrant. So those are the different variations for colors that you have for your wallpaper. Um, so yeah, that is that section. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and select a photo that I want for my lock screen and then I'm going to get into how you can edit the time, the font, the widgets and everything like that. So this is a cute little wallpaper that I just found on Pinterest, just for example, for you guys. Um, and now how to edit this to your liking the style more. Um, so the first thing you can we're going to cover is this top little center here. So here you can have a few things. You can just have it the date like it is there as default, or you can click on it and adjust some other things. So you can even have the weather or your calendar or your activity rings. So I'm just going to click on the weather, which gives you the date and weather, which I prefer prefer just because it's all there on your screen um, so you can, you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want you can even add some other things for the weather but um, yeah so that is what you can set then the next thing you can edit is your time so you can adjust the font and color of that so these are all the fonts that they have for the time I absolutely love that they brought this to this update um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just choose that one and then you can, like I mentioned, edit the color. So the first option you have here is gonna change the color based on the wallpaper that you have so that it kind of fits in with your wallpaper. Um, then you can just go ahead and choose through some of these as well if you wanna just use some of the colors that they have here. Or if you scroll all the way to the right, you'll see this color wheel here where you can be more precise on the color that you want. So if I just want it um, to be white, I can have it all the way white, uh, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to choose that, leave it like that, but um, that is how you edit the font and color. You can also click here on this globe icon and change the format. So they have other formats here as well um, that you can choose from for your time. You can also pinch to crop, so you can obviously do that for just positioning your wallpaper, which is not new, which we've always had that. You can also go ahead and swipe, so as you can see, they have a few options here. So swiping right just puts a filter over it, so this is black and white, duotone and color wash. So you can go ahead and edit those. You can click on this icon here in the bottom left to go ahead and change the image. So if you want a different image and you can click on the three dots here in the bottom right to go ahead and turn on or off the depth effect. That's dependent on if the photo is going to work with depth effect, which I will get into. Um, and then obviously we can add widgets. So this also depends on if you have depth effect turned on. Um, so if you have the depth effect turned on, it won't be able to add widgets. You have to choose between depth effect or widgets. Um, so yeah, the widgets that they have here are very nice. So here you can see they just have these that you can easily choose from and drag in there. Or you can go into more detail into these um, options here and see all the different variations that they have for each app. So for instance, you have your battery here, but if you go into the battery section, you see they have two different types that you can choose from. This one is still my favorite though. I just tap on it and then it will appear here at the top. You can also add one for maybe for like reminders, you can do that or for weather. Um, if you go into weather here, you can see the different variations again. So these, this is just the temperature, conditions, UV index, all that kind of stuff that you can go through. Um, I think for me the temperature would be most helpful. Um, and then once you're happy with that, this is what it's going to look like. Um, and then you're good to go. Then you have all your widgets there and set up. And then you can just click on add here in the top right. And then it's going to ask you how you want to set your home screen wallpaper. So for each lock screen, you have to set your home screen. Um, so for instance, you can just collect um, customize um, home screen or you can select set as wallpaper pair which will just match the wallpaper that you have and maybe put a blur on it or something I'm gonna select customize home screen just because I want a custom home screen wallpaper um, so I'm just gonna click on that and here you can see are all the options that you have for this so if you go with your lock screen original you can turn off or on the blur 
like that, as you can see. Or what you can do is you can just go to color here and just set it as a color that matches your lock screen. Or you can go to gradient here um, and have it more of a gradient um, that you can edit. So you can just tap on it and open up this menu and edit your gradient to your liking. And then the last option, which I'm gonna choose is photos here, which will allow you to add a custom photo from your photo library. So this is the photo that I'm gonna be choosing for my home screen, which is the one that I currently have as well. So most of the time I prefer one home screen and then different lock screens, but you can have a different home screen for every lock screen if you want. Um, and then for this, what you can edit is again, you can swipe through for the filters. Again, you can pinch to crop and things like that. Click here to change the image and click here to turn off or on depth effect. And then click on done in the top right when you're happy with it. And this is what it's going to look like and then you just click on done again and then you have your photo your wallpaper set so if you tap on that lock screen that will now be your lock screen and you have your home screen here so it's really as simple as that to set up your lock screen i just want to quickly go over the depth effect that i mentioned so if you go ahead and add a new lock screen and I'm gonna choose the iOS 16 wallpaper because I know it has a depth effect. And if you don't know what the depth effect is, it is something like this that allows it to nudge the time between the background and the foreground so that it gives it more of a 3D effect. And again, if I click on these three dots, I can turn that off and then it won't have that effect um, or I can turn it on. And you'll see here, if I click on add widgets, and add a widget, it's gonna take away the depth effect because you can't have the depth effect and widgets. You have to choose between one or the other. Um, so yeah, that is a choice you're gonna have to make. This works very well with also people's faces. So for instance, I have a lock screen here of me and my fiance, and this is what it looks like. It just nudges again the time between the foreground and the background, which just makes it look very cool. Um, so yeah, that is something you can also do. I have a whole video that goes into even more detail about how to customize your lock screen and home screen on iOS 16. If you wanna check that out, I'll have that linked in the iApp top for you guys. Um, but also you'll see if you hold down and go into the edit mode, each one of your wallpapers has this link focus option and some of them you'll see I already have set so for instance this one is linked to my reading focus and this one is linked to a waiting focus this one is linked to productivity um, so you can go ahead and link focuses to your lock screens as well which I also have a full video on which I will link in the eye top for you guys as well but just to give you guys an idea of how this works is if you click on link focus it will ask you which focus you want to link and then you can also have custom wallpapers and obviously setups for each focus um, again the whole other video gives you more detail about how this exactly works but as you can see i have a different home screen for this and the app setup is different from say my regular lock screen which looks like this um, so yeah you can go ahead and watch those videos for even more detail on how to go all out with customizing your new iPhone on iOS 16. So yeah, that is how you customize your lock screen on iOS 16. I hope this video helped you guys and you could follow along and get the gist of how this works. And um, also it's just a very fun update and I love all the customization features that it has. You can go all out with everything you wanna do for custom lock screens and home screens, have a bunch of different mixes and matches of things like that. Um, so yeah, it's a very fun feature and uh, I really hope you guys use it a lot. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this, something that you're wondering, or even if you have a video request on something you would like me to go in more depth in, definitely leave that comment down below and I will try to reply to all of them. If this video was helpful for you and you did enjoy that definitely give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other iOS 16 related videos so you can see exactly and know exactly what to expect for the updates and click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos i'll see you guys next time bye